Bitch on frostbite, where the bands look like headlights. Woo. This the boss life, hey. yeah. yeah. My bitch exclusive, and she bougie, yeah. Real life, no DJ movie, hold on, groovy, yeah. Hey y'all, it seems as if this is a sweet hood slash Starbucks. Hey, you talking about posting here with their laptops and shit? Are right, they in school? Fools. No, they're crazy. I need to ask for the Wi Fi password. Boom, boom. Thanks. Come on, stop playing, y'all. Hey, what's going on with the camera? Oh, alright, y'all. I just pulled up late notice. Put the job on, hold on, let me fit my camera. You did. We had white waters with it. We got a wig. Oh. Hi, Joey. Joey, come on. I'm gonna take him to the bathroom. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna take him to the bathroom. So, y'all, we're we gonna, we gonna try to get on some of these rides, man. I'm gonna let y'all see what's going on, man. Facts. Y'all, I'm praying it doesn't rain on us. But. We're trying to find these birds. I get such a joy out of riding these things. But we're about to go get something to eat. Um, first, it's just the, the app location thingy. Is, it seems like it's either A, a little bit off, or B, the ones we found, they're doing exactly what Baby doing whenever we get one, like he be hiding them. Like so people can't really get them. <laughs> but I mean, he turned the alarm thingy on and it still wasn't going off. So we gotta go walk up a little bit further. But it's gonna be worth it though in the end. Am I even focused, y'all? Hold on, y'all. Trying to get y'all together. Up here? Ooh. Why are these things so addictive? Okay. Baby is such a man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But anyways, um, what I was about to say, I was able to do more. Now, somebody, some of y'all did recommend that I cut the ponytail area so that they can um, blend in. But Q has to come to my house anyways because she um, ordered a package. And now I'm out of breath. She ordered a package and um, got it shipped to my house. Um, so yeah, when she come over, I'm going to tell her to like trim the end of it. But y'all, let me find these birds and then I'll be back when we get it. Okay guys, somebody hit the birds away from us so we decided to, and then it's raining anyway, so we found like this outside type of eatery and it's called Publico Kitchen Tap Social. They actually got a pretty decent menu. They got a lot of different options, like Mexican and ramen, like that's an odd combination, but I'm not in the mood for any ramen. So I think I'm gonna do some tacos. I think I wanna do the barbecue tacos. Spicy snapper. I'm seeing like snappers everywhere these days. But I think I'm gonna just do the barbecue chicken one. Cause they got refried beans, pickle red. I don't think I want the onion part on there though. And then they also have this stuff on the back. So it's a fairly decent price and they have some good deals going on. Okay guys, so this is how my tacos look. Wasn't expecting it to look like this, but yeah. And they got chicken and waffles pretty much. And then some other stuff. Y'all, Jeremy found a bird and left me high and undry. Babe, save your hair, you go. Here, Babe, you I'm go. like, Babe, it's gonna- your hair, I'm gonna be up there, go It's ahead. gonna make it go faster, Go, babe. Babe, go. Be careful now. My baby. Be careful. Babe, use the brake. How is it gonna got down? Go outside. Okay, guys, so we just got back in the house. I gotta keep the door open. Dang, baby's walking. Dang, he's about to come in the room, y'all. Yeah, so I just, um, I need to cut the top of my ponytail just a little bit more so I can match with, um, the bottom layer. Uh, I cut my ponytail. <laughs> As y'all can see. You about to turn it on right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
sweetest girl. She used to be the sweetest girl ever, ever. Now she likes sour alfredo. She wears the dress to the T like a leather. And if you make a rain, she will be under the weather. She used to run track back in high school. Now she tricks on the track by five school. Y'all, I really, really like this part. I mean, I love this song all together, but I really like this part. But y'all, it is pouring down raining on this gloomy Monday. When I left my house, it was definitely sunny. And an hour later, it's pouring down rain. And I thought I was about to get away because I'm going to the parking garage for my nail appointment. But there's like a little cut right here. Uh, right before you even walk in the door so i think i'm still gonna have to bring my umbrella but anyways you guys happy monday i hope you guys are having a great monday um fourth of july is next week so i'm trying to get myself together well not really fourth of july i'm not worried about that i'm more so worried about chris brown's concert because me and Bay will be in the build, well it's not a building, it's outside, but we will be outside at the Lakewood um, Amphitheater. I'm so excited. Um, what else I was about to say? Yeah, so I'm really excited about it. Last year when I went to, Fu sorry y'all, I think I'm not focused. Wait, that made it worse. Um, but anyways, last year when I went to Future's concert, um, remember me and Perry, we were on the line area of the Lakewood Amphitheater, and although those tickets are tickets are really, 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 really cheap, um, it didn't do me any justice because I could not see past anybody because I'm so short, uh, so it was really, really annoying. So I told Babe, if we're gonna go, we have to get seats, and I really want to be close by to really, truly um, take in all that Chris. Because I know Chris is a great performer. Future, I love his music, but truth be told, y'all, he's not a good performer whatsoever. He just be up there doing whatever um so it was more like a vibe type of thing but not to really see um you know a real actual performance but i know chris brown is gonna burn i forgot who all is um coming but i also want to go to sway lee's concert drake also has a concert i just want to do it all um i asked Bate to come with me to sway lee's concert first he had said no but i think he changed his mind because you know i have some real convincing tactics so but anyways y'all so let me show y'all this chapstick before i get out of this car because i'm really trying to talk and see if the rain will stop um but y'all see this chapstick i got i don't know if it's even focused but um i got this new chapstick by dr bronner's and it's called naked organic lip balm so i have been trying to find a really really good chapstick for years now i have went through carmax trash i have went through so many different quality chapsticks and for some reason my lips don't do any justice with any of them like even if it's like a temporary fix like long term is not good y'all when i say this if y'all have problems and i don't have really problems with chap lips but when i got the face treatment they put you know obviously they put the whole thing over your face and then you peel uh and then like near my mouth area i was peeling like right there and it was aggravating the crap out of me so i was like i need a new chapstick um that's gonna really help out y'all this by far is my new favorite chapstick i would never ever go to anyone else or use any other chapsticks i think i'm just give the other ones to babe or the ones that's like not fruity for or anything like that um but yes let's go ahead and make my way out of here my nails have run its course can y'all see that yeah so y'all if this y'all first time watching my channel no your girl does not just get out here and let her nails look any kind of way i had a reaction um and i've been having a reaction can y'all hear me it's so freaking loud but i've been having a reaction these last few months ever since january to be exact and um I'm finally getting, like I finally got some ointment for it. So, I'm gonna go get my nails done, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna have them take these off. Y'all, do y'all see my nails? So apparently, we had a huge, huge misunderstanding when it comes to what I asked for with my nails. But I don't think we had a misunderstanding. I think that she just really did what she wanted to do because as soon as she got done, hold on y'all. I'm trying to turn my camera around, this umbrella. Okay guys, so I had to get situated in the car before I told y'all what the freak just happened. So before I forget, I do want to say that um, Handmaid's Tale on Hulu is definitely 
another fave like i definitely 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 will recommend for you guys to check it out if you have a hulu account it is bomb me and babe have been watching it and we're completely done but it comes on every wednesday so i'm anticipating it wednesday as well as saturday is it saturday for power so anyways let me tell y'all briefly what the freak happened at the nail salon and i'm trying not to be annoyed because there's just so many other things to focus on right now other than things i have no control over like that has truly been my latest motto like don't worry about small stuff but anyways so as soon as i walk in the nail salon i made it crystal clear that i wanted a pedicure as well as i wanted my acrylic um nails to be removed off of my hands and for me to just get gel polish over my real nail so i sit down to get my nails done and um i reiterate myself to the lady because the same lady who asked me what i wanted as soon as i walked in the door so i reiterated myself like hey i just want you to remove this acrylic i don't want a new nail on top of it i just want you to put gel polish over my real nail so she's looking perplexed at my fingers like oh my gosh whatever did you ask for and i'm like what is the big deal so i explained to her nicely i'm like hey so i've been having like sensitive reactions for the last few months i already went to the doctor um and they said it was from the gel but um, when I came here last time when the other nail tech said that she think it's actually from the acrylic because I get gel on my feet and I'm not having a reaction um it could just be my hands you know that's why I was still hesitant to you know not do the gel but um hey I'm just gonna go with it's the acrylic um because that does make sense after me thinking about it for a while that is probably the acrylic and so many of you guys have actually reached out and told me it's probably the acrylic so she was like oh okay but if I take off the nail your nail is gonna be so short mind you my nails are actually really long the last clip that showed my blue polish like all of that was pretty much my nail like maybe the very tippy tippy top my nail wasn't up there but my nails are naturally really really long so i'm like no ma'am like i'm gonna be okay so she's like well i'm gonna probably have to take some of the nail off when i'm taking off the fake nail and i'm like it's okay like it's okay but at this point i just can't get the acrylic so it doesn't matter so she was like well maybe i should just cut your natural nail too because when i take off the acrylic like she just kept going back and forth with me about the health of my nails which is important but at the end of the day i i didn't want the acrylic back on regardless of if my nail was gonna be short or long afterwards so long story short she starts um she was like okay you know what i'm gonna cut off um the hit the nail down really short so it can be really healthy and grow even healthier and longer i'm like you know what? okay i just gave in so she starts filing drilling away taking off the acrylic doing all that i start dozing off i'm tired as crap so i start dozing off next thing you know i'm feeling this little wetness and y'all if y'all have gotten y'all nails done y'all know what that little wet feel so I, i'm looking i'm like what what is this so i look up and she's already acrylic four nails and i'm looking at her, i'm looking at her like didn't we just go over who on love and hip-hop has a record deal please tell me other than k michelle and cardi b cardi b was actually made by the show i don't think k michelle was made from the show i feel like she was already like pretty lit and then she just joined the cast but cardi b like was like evolved from the show but how is there three different locations of love and hip-hop and only two people out of all these cast members actually you know have a true hand in the music industry like i'm just so confused but anyways y'all i mean it makes for good entertainment i mean i guess some people aren't like actual artists they say they're producers and whatnot but anyways y'all i'm laying down um the sun is literally about to go down it's like eight something and i'm about to eat dinner i didn't show you guys um me cooking today i'll pick back up with that tomorrow i'm kind of tired but if you can just close your eyes and imagine some salmon why am i closing my eyes but some salmon um baby spinach white rice and black beans that's exactly what's on the menu for tonight so um what i was about to say y'all i forgot why i turned on this freaking camera oh yeah the bt awards so i don't know why but it seems like every single year the bt awards are getting less and less relevant to me i don't know if i don't i guess it's because i just don't watch as much tv anymore like i'm either watching netflix youtube or movies or something like that but not really tv per se um so i don't really see the 
um, promotion of the BET Awards like I used to when I was a child. But I caught a glimpse of the BET Awards and I did not like it like that. I feel like I could have predicted who was going to win each of those categories myself. I mean, one, maybe because they really were deserving. Like, I feel like Cardi did deserve um, her award. She really did do good. Okay, guys, so I have my own few awards that I feel like I want to give out. I can't remember all of them from the top of my head, but I feel like... I didn't see the whole um everyone who was nominated for best new artist but i believe that sizzle won that category but i truly feel like not that she's not deserving because she really did amazing but i think i was looking through the shade room comments and someone said she's won that award for like two years i don't know i don't know the facts but off the top of my head one person that i i feel is doing really really good is little baby like i feel like I don't know how long he's been out, but he's been really on a come up with his collaboration. I mean, he's already collaborating with Drake. So that says a lot right there. Like he started off by himself with his little hits at the beginning of the year. And all the way by this point, now he's collaborating with Drake and all of his songs are really, really good. So I, off the top of my head, can think about that now. I'm not saying SZA didn't deserve it, like I said, but I just remember uh, Weekend and like maybe two other songs and not to say just because you're not collaborating with other people don't mean you're not worthy of awards that's not what i'm saying at all but i don't know sometimes when you collaborate with other people it kind of waters down your talent because people really get to see how good you are because they can hear your verse versus someone else and drake is a really good um artist to me in my own opinion regardless if he's writing it or not he's a great artist and Lil baby held his own with that um but obviously i think that song is so recent and the category was probably selected months ago best song of the year should have been unforgettable hands down by sway lee and french montana i don't know what they were thinking and was he even nominated in anything like that's why it should be i probably should have watched the entire show before i came on here trying to talk about it but sway lee should have definitely let me look it up who was nominated for these things you guys because I feel like I have, I need to write it into BET. Like there's so many other artists and they keep putting the same people up there um, for the same thing. Like that's so annoying to me. But in the meantime, while I'm looking up the, while I'm looking up, babe scared me. That was his shadow. <laughs> he walked outside. But does it show the BET Awards nominees and winners? Collaboration was Wild Thoughts. Unforgettable was nominated for collaboration and they didn't win. Wild Thoughts won over Unforgettable. Oh my gosh. Before I go, I do want to say um, that remember like a few weeks ago, I told you guys about the brunch that I would be a part of and the tickets are on sale. So I'm going to link the link below so that you guys can pur purchase the ticket and I'm going to give you guys the code that you guys can put in for your... Um, for your um discount for the tickets where's my business phone y'all i need to start saving people's number in here okay here it goes okay so the tick so the ticket the last day to purchase the tickets are by the 28th and they are $75 right now because remember I told you guys before they were a hundred but they're $75 and I'll put the code across the screen the link below in the description box and in case you guys need a friendly reminder this brunch is going to be like a, a business setting type of brunch where um, you'll pretty much be getting dinner plus expertise from different um, elite stylists um, techs um entrepreneurs and you know different just pretty much all entrepreneurs but in their own entities but um you'll be hearing a lot of different advice about how to start how to navigate ha having a business um financial responsibility when it comes to having a business and just a lot of different key things that a lot of people can't get on google um and it's also hard to get from just asking someone else who's also successful whether they're accessible to give the information or if they you know feel like well i got it on my own so you get it on your own but this is going to be compiled of a lot of different 
um, girl bosses who have a lot to say in the business world and are very successful. You can't even get your hands in your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Send that, hey, tell me. Things you'll be walking around like this. Like this. <laughs> 